the summer program is an eight-week um, summer internship program for high schoolers, mostly um, rising seniors, but there are a few graduated. We're paired up with an institute, and then you're given your own individual project with a mentor, and so you're working one-on-one -on -one with your mentor. Basically, your mentor gets you assimilated into the lab, uh, shows you how to do, shows you exactly what they're doing in the lab, explains all the principles uh, behind things. But supplementing that lab experience, um, our lectures, um, a few social programs. You're going to have to come up with your own abstract and your own kind of project. And in the end, you actually present what kind of fi what findings you have made while working in the lab these eight weeks. I'm in the Cardiovascular Institute, so I work with Dr. Zamanian in the Pulmonary Hypertension Lab. And my project is um, analyzing data from patients who have pulmonary hypertension and finding relationships and correlations to um, find biomarkers. I'm really interested in this project also because pulmonary hypertension is a very rare disease and it does affect very young women and it's fatal and it ends up leading to right heart failure and then death. So it's very important to get to the bottom of and it affects young women. Um, so I feel like I'm connected in that sense with it and I want to do something to help them. I'm working on Moya Moya disease. So my goal for my research project is maybe take a bite out of that haze of ambiguity that surrounds the causation of Moya Moya disease and say, okay, um, looking at gene expression in tissue from Moya Moya patients, can we see a significant difference with control patients? And if we can, what does that mean? I'm working uh, in the Quake Lab, and basically we're working with cancer stem cell research. And uh, basically cancer stem cells are kind of an, uh, almost a new theory in the sense that it's saying that there are cells that in a, in a tumor that have stem cell-like properties in the sense that they rejuvenate the tumor, and if you were to remove them, the tumor would go away. And so we're more, how you say, trying to add more to the theory in the sense of kind of either verify or deny it, get more, get more information. I'm considering pursuing medicine in the future. And so I first wanted to join the program because you get to work with a mentor who is a doctor, and I get to um, go to clinic. And so you really get a lot of insight from the doctor's point of view. And then in addition, I want to know if I'm even interested in research. And this program, you know, you're working eight weeks on your own individual research project from beginning beginning to end. So um, I wanted to see if I'd even like it. And it's a valuable ex um, experience even if I find out that I don't like research because at least you learn it now. And it, it's interesting to know if I'll like it or not. I think the first few weeks, it's really about traversing that, that learning curve. And I think once you've gotten past that learning curve, you've gotten used to the software you're using, you've gotten used to the vocabulary, you've gotten used to the concepts, then I think you can start to make a really tangible difference. And so now I feel like I can actually have an elevated intellectual conversation about Moya Moya disease and also engage in um, independent research and contribute to the end goal of figuring out what the heck is going on with this disease. James Evans. <laughs> Francis Grove. First day, um, everything was very new. Um, even though I've taken, you know, advanced biology classes, this is medicine, and getting used to that medical terminology is very confusing. It's one thing to read about it, but to actually experience it with the doctors going back and forth. Now, I'm happy to say, I'm very proud to say that I, I do understand some of the terminology. I'm able to keep at the same pace as um, some of the doctors, and it's a great experience. I feel very comfortable here. This was a lot of fun. Yes. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was like, you know, it's a new experience working in the lab, but like something, I really love biology, so this was, this was great, you know, and getting results back was even, you know, it was like, you do weeks of work and then all of a sudden you have this and it pops up in front of you, and my mentor was like, I was just so happy to hear my mentor go, oh, this looks good, this looks, you know. I've had just an unbelievable experience. Working in the lab, I think what was so nice about my experience was that I was really given a lot of autonomy to design my own experiments, to make my own mistakes, which I think is critical. But I always had a helping hand. The people I worked with are phenomenal. Dr. Steinberg is a fabulous mentor, a fabulous PI. Um, I couldn't have been happier with my decision. It's amazing meeting people because it's like, how do you say, these are people on like a whole different level, you know, 
then what you, you come from your like little local school and this is like everybody like throughout like California and stuff and people just have like all these amazing projects you know each year going back I don't know how many years it is now um, we've had a special award in honor of Jessica Linsall so there are two recipients this year So I'll ask you both to come forward. One is James Evans, and the second is Nisha Agarwal. So I'm definitely interested in medicine, but I also, I really like math a lot. So I was thinking of doing um, an undergrad in computer science, actually a little different, but also um, maybe also doing pre-med. I know that's very difficult to do computer science and pre-med, but we'll see how it goes. So biomedical research, I think, is, is certainly one of my passions. Another one of my passions is, for lack of a better word, talking, interacting with people. Um, and I really wouldn't like to lose that component of, of whatever I do. I think certainly research will play a large part of what I'd like to experience um, later on. And I think the collaborations you make really sustain that need for human interaction within me. I got invited uh, by uh, Stephen Quake to stay an extra two, like, extra two weeks to continue uh, working on the research. So when I say further investigation in my poster, I mean like next week. So <laughs> yeah, so I, I get to stay for an extra two weeks and then, you know, hopefully in the future maybe I'll get to come back and I really love the lab and the people. So. I want to come back and, you know, work in this lab again. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.